Hey, what's up guys? It is I Stay Blasian, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood black and Asian, and back again with another kind of attempt at uploading every single day this week. I am really going to try to do it because as of recently, I've been super fucking motivated to do YouTube, and I've already knocked down like three videos thus this far. So yeah, guys, um, today's video is going to be my, you know, my take on the whole, you know, life storytellers always telling their story about how they almost died. You know, Luna, I think X Code has done one, but yeah, I just wanted to give my take on this subject matter so hopefully you guys do enjoy this life story feel free to drop a like if you enjoy it at any point in time but yeah let's jump right into it all right this life story takes place in eighth grade so i'm just chilling in my fucking math class with my friends and we're taking our like end of year you know testing eois i don't know what the fuck you guys call them in your state but we're just getting by we're just doing our tests and um all the day like throughout the entire day there was just like tornado warnings all this kind of shit where i live there are a bunch of fucking tornadoes and it's fucking crazy sometimes like they just come out of the blue and yeah we were not prepared for this day so like i said we were just taking our tests and our teacher mr easton mr ethan something like that like he was warning us and he was like hey guys we're gonna put down our tests we're gonna turn in our scantrons because there is severe weather warning and i'm going to now allow you guys to call your parents if you need to and i was like whoa this is kind of getting really fucking serious towards the end of the you know fucking school year and he's just like all right everybody just get under your desks and hope for the best and i'm just like holy shit is this really that serious right now like are we really in that much danger like why weren't we warned like hours in advance like i come to find out later that like there was no warning it just fucking happened and yeah it's fucking crazy but anyways we're under our desks and the lights just shut off like it's some really fucking horror movie-esque type shit and the lights just shut off i'm talking to my friends like i had one friend in there like jessa and she, like she was fucking crying she was bawling her eyes out dude i was fucking like i don't know what to do at this point i was like dude i'm just this fat fucking asian kid that hasn't had a girlfriend yet that fucking wears glasses that wears oversized fucking hoodies when it's 90 degrees outside dude i was that kid and i was just like oh my god like i have so much time i have so much i wanted to do so much i needed to do and it's just all about to be over like guys i literally thought i was going to die like i was i came to terms with it i wasn't sad I just accepted that shit and it was it was kind of weird of me but I was just like okay if this is how my story really ends in a fucking tornado at school like really nigga like come on like something better could have happened but I was just really chill with it and I was like I was texting my mom my grandma everybody everybody was texting me they were like I love you uh, uh, this might be the last time I talk to you and I was like okay okay we get it we get it you love me you should have been saying that shit all the while when I was fucking alive but you know it doesn't really matter like they were all just sending me all these good messages i was really i was really feeling myself at this point but you know after all the shaking of the school like as soon as the tornado went over our fucking school it started shaking like in the other room yo like the classroom across from my classroom they had glass windows towards the front of the school like their classroom is just full of fucking glass windows and all you hear is just smashing and crashing and just screams from the other fucking classroom and you're like yeah they're dead I'm like bro like they're fucking dead like it doesn't even matter like they're dead and i was just like we're next oh here it comes and man the intercom just fucking goes on and they're saying like is everyone okay is everyone all right the tornado has gone by it has passed us we are now fine and those were like the best words i've ever heard from the fucking intercom besides you know blazing come get your fucking award for being the best fucking youtuber ever like oh man i remember that reward never got it but you know it was a fucking crazy situation and all i did after it was walk home and sleep for 17 hours i think i was traumatized or something or traumatic traumatized is that even a word probably but yeah i was just really it was a traumatic situation and i just slept for 17 hours and i was like wow i actually lived it was a fucking crazy life story like hopefully you guys did enjoy it let me know any time that you almost died in the comment section below and if it's kind of intense um yeah i'll fucking reply to it so yeah guys like the video if you did enjoy throw down some comments and and questions for this Sunday's Q&A. Once again, I'm gonna get a shit ton of questions. I'm gonna make a hella long smoke sesh video. So if you guys are really down to see that, down to see me fucking stony as shit, yeah, throw down a bunch of questions. This has been I Stay Blasian, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood black and Asian, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday's video. It's going to be about smoking weed in a hotel. I know, fucking Luna copycat. <laughs> but anyways, guys, peace.